Hey, what's up everyone? Kaban running 4560 recording another video. Today, continuing my Let's Play on um, Sonic the Hedgehog 06 for the Sony PS3. So last time we uh, saw the opening cutscene, stuff like that, and uh, now we're just gonna continue on. So hey, did you hear? They say the way to the desert was closed off because Eggman showed up there. Oh yeah, and then another thing we did was wave ocean, so... Wait, what the... Flip? Camera! Camera! Come on! Holy balls, man. Okay. Anyway. This is like, why? Oh, the way to the desert was usually left open, but now there's soldiers blocking it. I wonder what happened. So, uh, as you see right here, if we talk to this dude, he's like, hey, this is the way to the desert area. Dr. Eggman has been seen in the desert, so we're limiting access. If you need to get through, you'll need to get permission from Lord Regis. So yeah, the characters, like in this game, like I said before, in the hub world, uh, they're basically like Sonic, um, and Mario and Sonic at the London Olympic Games for 3DS. All they say is, hey, hey, like, yo, yo, yo. So, let's talk to this dude right here. Hey, that kid climbed all the way up there. What's she doing? Uh, so, there's, oh, there's a little kid up there. You see that? Okay, then. Well, uh, let's talk to, actually, let's talk to this dude. This must be the Lord. Yes, Lord Regis, you want to go to the desert? Not now, not now. A little girl got up on the roof somehow and can't get down. We need to do something. Okay, my gosh, so much slowdown. So... If you can squeeze through the gap, you'll be able to save the girl. See, we can't slide under there with the... Uh, like, with the slide kick. So what we have to do is actually come over here and, uh... Go back to the shop and buy what... Buy, um, what is it? buy another uh, stone, so let's hurry up and do that. But uh, a lot of people um, were really, really excited to see that I started my Sonic 06 Let's Play. Um, no, I'm glad a lot of you were. I mean, it really surprised me to see so many people doing it. But like I said, I was doing it for the viewer, for all you viewers and subscribers who wanted me to um, do this Let's Play, so, you know, I guess I should have expected it, but still, it, I, it kind of blew my mind away. But, um, you know, I was kind of concerned about doing this LP because, um, other people had been thinking about doing LPs. Um, Johnny from uh, SGB Likes to Play is doing an LP on this game, which is excellent, by the way. I've been loving his LP. But, um, yeah, I was kind of concerned about it, but, uh, you know, I'm glad a lot. Oh, I beat the old dude. Aw. Oh, you see that? I hit him in the back. I'm sorry. But anyway, uh, that's the sliding attack, if you just saw right there. You can hold the X button, and Sonic will just do a devastating slide into enemies, like legs and stuff like that. So, hop on here, and we get up here, and we can talk to this little girl right here. I'm sorry to make you worry. Oh, I heard Eggman was going to the desert, so I just wanted to keep watch from a high place. Alright, so now that we've saved her, we can go talk to Lord Regis. Laura Pompous, no, I'm joking, <laughs> Pompous. You, you've saved us on behalf of the town folks. Let me give you our thanks. You want to go to the desert? Just let the soldiers know that you're heading out. They say Eggman headed out that way, so please be careful. All right, so let's go on in. Screw that dude right there, Ollie. He hardly says anything, really, so. Hop in here. And uh, now that the game's loading, um, I think a cutscene's about to come up. Yep. Good girl, Elise. Remember, be brave. Don't cry, no matter what happens. <laughs> Mr. Sonic! Just call me Sonic. Getting down on my knees to get to that are you Lena. Okay? <laughs> I'm so glad that you came. I always keep my word. Sonic! Oh, snap. Holy balls. It like a pesky rat has stuck its nose where it doesn't belong. Well, hedgehog to be more precise. I'm not a rat, I'm a hedgehog. Until I unlock the secret of the flames of disaster. Tails! Got it! Let's go! Alright, so uh, has anyone noticed how, I, I'm pretty sure most of y'all have noticed and uh, did notice when the game came out, but Eggman got a new look in this game. They tried to make, 
this game actually seemed a bit more uh, realistic, I guess, and more, I guess, mature compared to the other Sonic games. Like, as you can tell with the story and stuff like that, even though the story's kind of stupid, in my opinion. There's some people like it. But anyway, uh, yeah, I kind of did like how they tried to do something different with Eggman's look. I don't know, kind of make him... But I don't like how he's, like, a bit slimmer. It's always fun to kind of make jokes about Eggman when he's fat and stuff like that, so... Okay, so this is Egg Cerberus right here. This is the boss, first boss in the game, and uh, he's pretty easy. Um, well, if you know what to do, that is. So, camera, work with me, thank you. Okay, so just uh, get over here, hop onto him, and get ready to aim this hunk of junk over to this statue right here. And when you hit the statue, um, you knock out half of its health right there, so this can easily be a two-hit boss if you know how to do it right, but, um, it's very tough, so... Ah, oh, balls, he ran off. Whoa! Oh, now he's gonna go up on his little perch up there, and, uh, he's gonna try and jump and land on you, so you better be careful. But, um, we're gonna... Oh, gosh. Whoa! You miss, my boy! So skadoosh onto him right here, and let's try and get him into his statue somewhere. Okay, right there, right there. Balls, 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 balls. Okay, camera, 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 camera. Uh, I couldn't. I just knocked him into the wall. See there, it does only a quarter of his health. So when you hit him in the wall only. But, um, yeah, this is the... Oh, no! Okay, here we go. Um, there is a glitch to this to where, like, if you accidentally, um, like, if you, like, home attack at him too many times or something, like, he'll, uh, I can't recall what he'll do. Um, you'll, like, fly off into a platform, like, to the top of the stadium. It's really weird. But, uh, it's not, like, a terrible glitch, but it's just really weird when it happens. But, I digress. We whooped this idiot. No hits whatsoever. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Just B eight. rank? What the balls, man? B stands for balls. That was that's pretty stupid that we just got that many. They expected more. But oh well. At least we beat the boss, and that's what matters. So we got ourselves a gold medal right there. Up somehow. So I had to re-record this, and... Yeah. How long is this gonna go on? Let's split up! You seriously think Eggman's gonna beat that and, and give up that easily? Okay, you be careful, Tails! Leave it to me! All right then, so there Tails go. Hold on tight. Okay. Oh yeah, and some people were saying in the comments before, um, I saw one comment, they were like, what the, what the heck, um, why is, uh, why is, um, Princess Elisa's legs, like, all brown, and, uh, why is the rest of her pale? Um, those are actually leggings, in case you didn't know that. I kind of, um, Fell. I kind of laughed at that little comment right there, because um, at first I used to think the same thing, actually, but then I realized, oh wait, they're leggings. Alright, so here we are in Dusty Desert. This is uh, actually not a bad stage, but this is our first partner stage. Yeah. Where um, we actually carry a lease and stuff like that in the game, and uh, it's kind of interesting, like... You don't really lose, um, you don't, like, lose any abilities or anything like that when you are carrying her, but you do get, gain an ability, and it's the, um, if you press the R1 trigger, you can create a force field around you. While it doesn't give you invincibility, it allows you to walk on sand. See right here? One thing I do love about this stage is just like the whole sunset look to, of it. Oh my gosh, come on. Why does the jump always, for some reason on that platform there, like the jump always acts weird there to where I just fall off. Um, but anyway, yeah, what I do like about the, this level here are like the graphics and the music and stuff like that. It's really nice. And uh, there aren't too many glitches you can run into on this stage, so I'm going to give 
this stage props for that, but, uh, you know. Like, the music, it just seems really peaceful, and that's what I like about it. So. Okay, home attack on the one-up, because you're going to need it. But I do hate how the homing attack sometimes acts so stupid. But yeah, as you all know, I said in the last video, um, homing attack is a bit more sluggish in this game compared to the other games, because, uh, you have to adjust which way you want to turn and stuff like that. Look at that, see there? This force field hardly ever does its job. Like, I think it's supposed to keep you invincible. Like, let me see here, if I run into an enemy right here. Like, it knocks them out, but somehow we still get hit. Like, it's supposed to... It was programmed... It wasn't programmed properly, um, I think. I can't recall. I heard someone say that before. But, um, anyway, we took that enemy out right there. Uh, what you have to do is, like, it's like a multiple hit enemy. Ah, uh, crash animation for the win. It's come over here. Ah, what the heck? Super sensitive controls for the win. Take this dude out, and he's done. So now I come over this way. Well, holy balls. Okay. Now skadoosh over this way. But yeah, I like the loop-to-loops and all that stuff. Oh, gosh. And this stage is pretty cool. Uh, oh, no. Thought I was about to fall off there. But um, I've always liked the kind of loop-to-loops in the stage. And <laughs> this game is so amazing at interrupting me. Um, like I was saying, I like the loop-de-loops in this stage, you know, I don't know. It's always been something I've liked in the Sonic series, and, uh, they kind of add, like, a little blur effect to it, which looks pretty cool. Uh, home attack, look at this, one up for the win. Okay, balls, okay, watch it. Okay, actually, we're just gonna... Take this, take and care of... Wow, thanks. I was gonna say taking care of business, but no. <laughs> You see that again? They did it again. Okay. Whatever. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on here? Okay. Take these dudes out. Ooh, can we get that? Nice. 20 rings for the win. I don't know why people don't usually take that little shortcut right there. I've always seen people skip it. I don't care about that silver medal. Oh my gosh, look at all this slowdown. Ugh. I think the PS3 version, though, actually doesn't have as much slowdown as the 360 version and not as many control issues. Because um, this version actually did come out later, and while it wasn't much... What? Frick balls. Frick balls. My gosh. But, um... Anyway, as I was saying, because the... Uh, what? <laughs> Sometimes this game is just so weird, it doesn't even make sense, but, yeah, as I was saying, um, I don't think the PS3 version had as many control problems or glitches as the 360 version, I couldn't be wrong, though, but, uh, so far from playing this, this is nowhere near as bad as when I remembered playing it on the 360 version, like, glitches were really bad, and while this game still has a lot of glitches and frame rate slowdown and lag and stuff like that. Um, it's still not as bad as before, I guess, in my opinion. So the funny thing about these platforms is that you can actually jump right here where the platforms pop out and still go up. You don't have to wait for the stupid platforms. Amazing level design, Sega. Oh my gosh. Did you see that? That was close. Can I take this dude out? Wait for him to stick his stick out and then pop him. Up here. What the heck? Oh my gosh, did you see that jump? I almost had no directional input right there. Like, like he didn't move when I was like holding forward. Anyway. So now just run over here. Get the silver medal right there. I don't really care about it, but I just decided to get it. And Golaring for the win. Let's see what we got here. A B rank again for balls. <laughs> All right then, so there is our that is the um, second stage that we just completed, Dusty Desert. So not a bad stage, in my opinion. Uh, sure, why not? 
Like seriously, I'm going to go on and say this in the beginning of this LP. It's probably not, I'm probably not going to get too ticked off really to be honest. It's only in the later stages where it gets really bad. And look at us in the wonderful land of Windows XP. But I gotta say that grass is gorgeous. But Elise's character model sucks. I have no words to express how grateful I am for your help. Your heart. It's nothing. Don't say that. Aw, oh, Sonic's getting all butterflies. Stomach. Tuh. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Smile. <laughs> Your smile, that's all I need. <laughs> Eggman mentioned the flames of disaster. Is that why he's after you? Yes. The name of the sun god our country honors is Solaris. It is told that Solaris' rage would destroy the world. His wrath comes in the form of the flames of disaster. Ten years ago, we almost faced the full force of his fury. I was a child then, so I don't remember it very well. I lost my father then. And now that man is trying to cause the same disaster again. What can I do? Oh my gosh, I thought he was about to grab her. Wait! I can't run that fast! <laughs> oh my gosh. Take action. If you have time to worry, then run. <laughs> I seriously thought that before I was about to grab her. <laughs> so, the uh, so interesting. <laughs> yeah! Holy balls! I've been looking for you. What an amazing sound effect right Your there. Your actions will condemn us all. Who are you? My name is Silver. For the future of the world, I will destroy you. Oh, snap. It's on. So, this is probably one of the worst... It's a, it's a really badly programmed boss Time fight. Time for you to disappear! Iblis trigger and a lot of people do complain about it. So I guess I'll go on and show it to you I guess um, show you a little clip of what they what this boss like what happens if you accidentally fail with this boss So check it out right here and just say uh, I think it did uh, oh gosh. No, ah I couldn't home attack away from him. Look at that No, here's the trick. No, no Oh my god you see what I was talking about? Yeah, so here we are. Um, basically, um, you're supposed to home attack onto him when he has, like, when he says something like, how about this or take this? And uh, that's your opening so that you can take him down and hit him. But uh, don't try and go for him any time after, like, before that. Because if you do, he'll do a psychokinesis move on you and uh, will just fling you all over the place. So run over to him. Take him down hardcore. Run back to him. Hit him again. Wait for him to say, how about this? Wait for it. And he's done, you sucker. Suck my balls. That's what you get for tossing me out all over the place. Burn, burn, burn. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. 
We should have gotten the S rank for that. That was pure pawnage on this story, bro. Yeah, incredible. boy. That's what I'm talking about. S for Skadooshinata. A is for awesome sauce and all that jazz. So. Okay, camera was about to cut out and run out of space. But anyway, uh, we finished it. Finished this mission here, so nicely done. Okay, wait, what? Alright. Oh, Silver's episode is now unlocked. Sorry, I accidentally hit the A button, the X button twice. But, uh, yeah, it's because we actually fought against Silver. Um, Silver's boss fight. Now we can play Silver's side story. But, um, in this LP, I'm just gonna be doing Sonic first. Then I'm gonna do Shadow and then, uh, Silver, so. Yep. And here's another cutscene. And this cutscene is really, really pathetic. Oh no! That was the most painful attack on me ever in the whole wide world to where I'm knocked out almost. Huh. Is this a joke? How could someone like you cause the destruction of our world? What do you mean? It doesn't matter. For the sake of the future, the Iblis trigger must be destroyed. Oh, oh snap, of course. Wait. Don't you dare turn your back on me. It's time I finally put an end to this. So here, here's what I hate about Amy, this right here. Now here's Amy. Get out Amy. of my way, Amy. This is my mission. Absolutely not. <laughs> Appreciate it. See, your Sonic's gonna leave her all by herself with this dude who just whooped his own butt. I mean, Sonic has saved the world several times, but he's gonna leave her with someone like that. Seriously, Sonic. Whatever happened to chivalry? Anyway, um, yeah, I, what I can't stand about this game, like, you know, some people are like, I like the story and stuff like that in this game. They make Sonic a freaking wuss in this game. That's why I hate about it. You know, Sonic has always been like, you know, even though he's not the most powerful, like with fighting and stuff like that, he's still been able to take care of himself. He seriously shouldn't have rolled over like a dog like that to Silver. That is what ticks me off about the story so much. Not just some of the confusing parts in the game, but also they make Sonic just a wuss. It annoys the flipping crap out of me. Like. I do not expect my favorite video game character, who's been known to save the world several times, to fall, like, just be a baby like that. And you're probably, you're gonna see some more moments later in the game. But anyway, enough of my whining and complaining right there for that moment. So that basically does it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to comment, like, subscribe, stay tuned for more vids, walkthroughs, and updates. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit the like button and uh, comment if you want more parts of this LP upload more often. So thanks again. See y'all. Have a good day.